Welcome to our origin series, where we break down the origins of your favorite superheroes and villains. Today we're going to continue our look at the New 52 origins of the Justice League with the Man of Steel, Superman. Now we all know where this begins, but if you don't, allow me to explain. Things begin on Krypton, with one of the bravest men in the entire universe, Jor-El. His planet was doomed, and it was going to be destroyed, and he was the only one who knew that. So he fought against the very people that were supposed to save his planet, demanding that they fix this problem that only he even knew existed. He risked everything to try and save his son, Kal-El. Well, his crazy ideas got him expelled from the Hall of Science. So Jor-El tried an alternative plan, and it was supposed to be something that could save his entire family. But he only had time to make a small spaceship, one that was large enough to hold his son. And so that's what he did. And Kal-El's mother wept as she sealed her son into what would surely be a death sentence, while Jor-El tried to convince her that this was the only way to even give him hope. That if he stayed in this planet, he would be as doomed as everyone else. Kal-El had no idea what was going on, and he didn't even shed a tear, and he didn't cry out in panic. He lightly cooed as he was sealed up, not realizing that this would be the last time that he ever laid eyes on his mother. She lightly kissed him on his forehead, with tears streaming down her face, and she bid farewell to her son. She had hopes that he would find a friendly face, she had hopes that he would find a family, and she had hopes that he could find love again. And as the world was destroyed around her, this was the one thing that gave her hope for her son, that he would one day be happy again. Eventually though, her hopes would come true. As the ship flew through space, it eventually landed on a simple cornfield in Kansas where a young couple known as the Kents were traveling home from a rather long day. Recently, Martha Kent had suffered a miscarriage and they were both still a little upset over this loss. But on their way home that night, they saw what appeared to be a shooting star and they pulled over to investigate it. Martha Kent was simply shocked at what she found, a smiling, happy, and healthy baby boy. It was love at first sight for Martha and tears formed in her eyes as she began to wonder where this child even came from. She gently kissed him on the forehead and she tasted the salt of someone else's tears. And she realized that this child was loved and something must have happened. And then little Kal-El accidentally broke her finger with his strength. Shocked, Martha looked back down and saw what appeared to be a look of, I'm sorry. While John wanted to call the sheriff and get the child taken care of, Martha refused. She said that this child was once loved and this child's mother sent him here for a reason. They were going to raise him as their own son, and they were going to teach him proper values. And so they did that. Jonathan wasn't one to argue with Martha, and they named him Clark Kent. Time went on, and they dealt with each of Clark's powers as they came, no matter how scary they may be, or how incredible they may be. They taught him to never hit back with his strengths, and they taught him joy, hope, compassion, and all the values that someone like Clark needed. They gave him a wholesome life on the farm, until one day, all of that changed. On their way to pick up Clark, a drunk driver hit their car. Martha Kent was killed instantly, but Jonathan was carried to the hospital where he was only given hours to live. Clark arrived and he knew how bad the situation was. His father's last request was to die in his own bed. So he carried him back to the farm, where Jonathan told him that there was nothing that he could do. He couldn't stop the drunk driver. Even with his powers, there's only so much that one man can do. And as Jonathan dies, he asks Clark to never give up the good fight, make this world a better place. So after a brief period of mourning, he decided to use his powers for good and he became the man that both his parents knew he could become. He had to become a hero all on his own, using nothing more than the things they taught him and his goal to become a better man than before. And eventually, he becomes Superman. And that's the New 52 origin of Superman. Now, if you guys enjoy chatting about comic books, I do invite you to join us for our comic book YouTube community, theweeklypoll.net. Just go check out that website. You can see all the videos from everyone that's participating and even join us on the forums. And if you want to chat with me about this video or any others, please join me on Twitter at Comic and I'll see you guys next time right here.